Ew, we're in the sewers and it smells bad. Anyway, hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play Paper Mario. I'm Hunter, the one who was there, fair and a polar bear. And in the last part, we did the usual tow town cleanup rather quickly. By quickly, I mean it took us half a goddamn hour because I'm slow. And in this part, we're going to be heading into the fifth chapter. Huzzah! And hopefully, I can do a Nudge Horn with Thornberry verse because we're probably going to meet up with Colorado. More than likely, probably, meaning yes. Can you tell this is a second attempt? Because it is. Hidden block! That I probably already got before, but it appears to have a... Respond or something. Then again, that wouldn't explain why well, the other block is still there. Because I'm pretty sure that was a coin block. Ah, shit. Not even in a minute, not even a minute in, and I already got myself stuck in a random battle I didn't mean to. That's just fantastic. Anyway... So, where are we going right now? Well, we're actually going to head to the Toad Town docks. Because, uh, yeah. We got to get to Mount Lava Lava Island, and of course, we need a boat. Or something. Some kind of a ship. And I don't think trains can float on water. Also, plus, the map has, a uh, yeah. By the way, this is a thing that exists. Uh, yeah, I haven't pointed it out until now, but yeah, there's a map. And right here is, uh, Lava Lava Island, and that's where we need to go. In order to get there, we need to go here, which is the docks. As you can tell, there's the toy box, there's the tunnels, well... It's basically underground, but still, his cat, the PSG's cast, or where it used to be, anyway. Um... Ooh, spoilers, can't show that. Um... Actually, what's... Ooh, there's Bowser's castle. Uh, there's the Temple of Lewis Castle, there's the Cooper Brothers Fortress, Dry Dry Desert, Forever Forest, all that good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go here by going here. Long story short, probably could have summed that up by just going there, but I did want to show you guys the map because, well, the map. Um, yeah. So, because it's a thing that I forgot to talk about when I first saw it, um, actually I'm gonna wait until I have literally nothing else to talk about, and also I forgot there was one other thing I also forgot to mention, or look up, as a matter of fact, so, hold on a moment. Right, so, uh, for the record, the boss that we, uh, we're about to encounter, um, we can't exactly tattle him as much as I want to. So, yeah. That's a thing. Also, hello, uh, wait, actually, before we talk to Colorado, nearly forgot while I was in my days of, uh, doing a thing, uh, we need to talk to Fishmail over here. Hello. This is just used trying to feast with no caterpillar. Or what a fix I'll be in. Well, there's nothing for it but to find me different bite. Addressed to a person fishing at the port. Ah, this must be you. My name is Parker. I deliver lotus. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Letter. Give. He disappears into his gut. Hmm? What's this, then? Shiver me timbers. Word from Coover. Musty city word of letter, too. Everyone's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. You should come along, Mario. Oh, that reminds me. I've got a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to him? Yeah? Why, the Cooper Trooper who asked you to bring this letter to me. Cooper's the name. Oh, and take good care for your, the love of fishes. So, now we got to give the letter back to Cooper, but you know what? Fuck it. We are going to go into the chapter 5 of the 5th chapter, and the Roman numeral V chapter. Yes. Rewarding things is cool. Also, can I get up here yet? Actually, wait, hold on a second. Curiosity. No, we can't get up there yet, but we can soon. Actually, one more curiosity. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm flipping between badges like a madman. Uh, get rid of D down pound. Uh, probably Dodge Master. No, I mean, defocus. Uh, and equip. Let's see this. And. There we go. Much better. Now to leave the area and come. I know I'm stalling. I'm stalling. I'm gonna hurry up with this. I'm doing my best. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to leave the area and then come back. That's what I thought. Okay, so let's quickly find that star piece and then uh, actually proceed on with what we're doing. I do believe it actually is over where I was, so let me just... Yep, there, nope, never mind, it's right here. Cool, grab, star piece. 
Now we can talk to Colorado at last. Hello there. Huh? Who am I, you sure? Why, my dear chap, I'm none other than Colorado, famed archaeologist and adventurer, and toy the world. And you're Mario, yes? <coughs> what are you doing here? Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm a bit of a fix, though. No way to get there, you say? Hmm. Think now, Colorado. How to cross the sea? A dry, dry ruins dug, dig grew. Did that? Long story short, yes, he got bored. I say. More. That artifact of yours. That looks like. Such a craftsmanship, indeed! It's a clue to the dry, dry ruins! A careful study of this by an experienced archaeologist like myself could well solve the mystery of the ruins. Mario, old boy, be a chum. Could you part with it? <laughs> Cheers, Mario. Smashing, really, old boy. So now the mystery of the dry, dry ruins will rise in the suns that conceal it. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. Yes, of course. Well, I suppose the thank you gift is an honor, eh, boy? Here you go, then. Star piece. Got it! I found it in Dry Dry Desert. I have no use for it. Now then, let's get down to brass desks, eh? Let's solve this mystery in front of us. Alright, so that's my best Nigel Thornberry impression. I'm sorry if your ears have been damaged. Hmm. What is this thing? Dead! Hell? Hmm. So we need a heart a pound. Oh, well. Ouch! Oh, what are you doing? They're not mermaids. They're two gongs! No, it's actually a whale. Oh dear. Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what that was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Oh, I'm not a tuna. I'm a whale. And I have problems. It feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Help me! Mm, I say. Oh boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a bellyache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Oh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. Well... Mm, I don't know, I think my hero might have some post-traumatic stress disorder after being inside that frog from Yosta's Island, but... Yeah, what's the big harm? Hmm, seems we need what? Good thing I have her out. It's like I know what's coming up. So, oh, hello. Mm, who the? What do you think you're doing with that light? What do you think you're doing inside this belly of a whale here, Buster? Ouch, not hurt. What are you doing? Well, I don't know. What are you doing? Oh, well, battle. So yeah, this is. Well, he'll introduce himself, or I'll introduce him in a minute. Here, fella, want a piece of this? You got it! I'm corny as all can get out! Prepare for some pain! I don't know how to say that line. Long story short, yes, fuzz a beat. The catch this guy is, we can't borrow him. Tattle, the tattle description is in the coding, but um, as you might be able to tell right about now, we can't tattle him in the dark. Nope, we can't tattle him at all. So for the entirety of the battle, we do have to ha we have to have Watt out. Now because of that fact, a quick trip to Mario Wiki has uh, given me the information about his statistics. And yeah. So if you're wondering, I'm going to be doing a Super Mario Galaxy 2 here and have a like, little health bar that's going to deplete. Because, I don't know, I'm feeling random. Yeah. Long story short... Uh, he has 20 HP and an attack of 3. There you go. There's the stats. Let's beat the shit out of him, shall we? Boom! Alright, now we're gonna do a turbo charge just to deal with him a slight bit quicker. Because I feel like it. Come on over here, you bugger. Whoop! And there's that attack barrel 3 going in. Oh, and he's gonna aim from the ceiling now. Thankfully, we have Watt here, who can just, you know, do this. Zap. Boom, 
but he immediately runs back up to the scene and anyway, like a jerk. Luckily, we have Quake Hammer on our side. Smash. Anyway, I think one more hit should do it. If he ever decides to come down, which he does. Ah, well, that didn't seem to do much. And he's gonna run up to the ceiling again, but he is almost done. So I think we'll just use what to finish him off. And out he goes. See, now that wasn't so hard. Was it? No. Oh, Shucks! First I think I can get away from that old fish man, and then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with the mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling on the frying pans of the fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. Mario, it's me, you know, the whale. Can you hear me? That stomachache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Oh dear. Well, this can only end in any which way but not good. Meaning bad. Whoa! Ah, that's off landing. Hey, it's you, boy. You're the dumb old fish that ate me all up and such. You plum idiot! You know, I thought it was a gunner for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my wife for forgiving you this time. You just watch it. Uh, I reckon I owe some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. You all take care now. Well, that was an odd sort of offense that occurred. Ooh, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. Ha. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna... I, <coughs> I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer, you're accompanying me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be! The island will be wonderful. You must trust my instincts. And Mario, um, I think the star kid's, uh, star spear was, uh, caught on the big Lava Lava Island. We, um, we should go. Big whale, give us a ride. Whee! Huh? Lava Lava Island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then. It's your call. Just tell me when you... Re Just let me know when you're ready to go. Which we are right about now. Hey, buddy. Let's go off on an adventure to the island of death. And destruction. Sha, this is safe, then. Make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. Spoosh. I can't believe we're on a tuna, Mario. Did you ever think about how strange life can be? I do. You're starting to sound a lot less like Angel Thornberry every day of the week, Colorado. Hey, look, a fat seagull. Uh, why am I getting a Yoshi's Island vibe from that thing? In fact, why don't we get in a lot of Yoshi's Island vibes from this little bit? I think that. Nah. Anyway, Chapter 5 Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island! Well, this place looks rather peaceful. Statistically, some of the uses. Hey, why am I making all these random comparisons? If you want me to take you back to Toe Town, just ask. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing. <gasps> Gracious! Behold, Mario! There! Off in the distance! The top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphant! We must hurry! Make haste! No. Anyway, welcome to Lava Lava Island, which doesn't look very Lava Lava y and. That? What weird things. They just bend their heads. Oh, they give us horse. That's so cute. Look, they give us their souls, their very essence, and their very being. Whoa, what the heck is this? Whoop. Yeah, so if you do the, the spin attack on those things, you can fly up and get some minor amount of coins. What the hell is this? Stopwatch. Huh. What a random place for a stopwatch. Ooh, a coconut. We're getting a lot of things in this place, aren't we? Hmm. 
what's over here? Yeah, probably nothing. And I'm pers purposely not going that way because that is the way to sort of anti-progress. In a way, I suppose. Yarg! Help, I say! Help! Oh, God. Right, time to take out Gamario. We got ourselves a new enemy coming on, and... Ooh, look, a letter. Yes, I am getting rather distracted by a bunch of things. What? What's it to you? Uh, wait, what did that... Who did that letter say was going to again? I kind of skipped past that one. Uh, Igor in the boo shop. Yes, so we're going to have to go back there when we're done. Did I just walk up a tree? Hold on a second. I just walked up a tree. Fuck you, Sonic. I can fire physics, too. <laughs> Jesus, Kambari. Stop doing that. You scare me sometimes, you know? Oh, uh, well, I was planning on hitting Colorado because you can't actually hit him. Uh, but regardless, uh, Jungle Fuzzies. This is Jungle Fuzzy. Jungle Fuzzies are very similar to other fuzzies, but they live in the jungle, so that's their name. Max HP is 7, attack pass 2, and defense pass 0. They cling to you, suck your HP, and add to their own. What a sleazy move. They won't stop clinging to you unless you tear them off the action command. They also occasionally divide, so let's beat them before they get the chance. Now, thankfully, with the fact that we have the Zap Tap badge, their uh, infinite clinging, yeah, doesn't affect us in the slightest. Which is a very good thing. See? They can't even attempt to damage us because they just instantly get shocked. I am finding this badge to be rather useful, aren't I? It's amazing. Granted, it's also rather expensive to equip, but whatever. There, I saved you. Phew, you saved me! Many thanks, old chum. Well, enough of that. Let's pull ourselves together and piss on, what say? Right. Yeah, I mean, I am rather indecisive with the voices in this playthrough, I'm aware. I'm trying my best to keep the consistency, but the consistency keeping is making things worse, so yeah. I don't know how I meant to do it in the Super Group Mario. I, looks like I just might have just lost my touch, is all. Um, I do have the Ice Pie badge equipped, right? Just want to be sure on this. Yeah, I do. Okay. That's a very good thing, because uh, there are a couple of badge pieces, uh, star pieces, we can get in this place. Particularly in this next area. Yoshi's Village. I had the feeling, and the suspiciousness was right, there are Yoshis here. God damn it. Hey, hello, howdy, this is Yoshi's Village. My level of you, sir. Well, the volcano is just to the east of our village, but there's no way to reach it. Besides, the village leader says it's best not to get too close because it'll look like better up than it is. Yeah, could have done a better Yoshi voice. I probably will because there are a lot of Yoshis in this place. Yes, Yoshis. I did say that I like Chapter 3 a lot, but if only for the Yoshis, this chapter is probably my second favorite. Because they're so goddamn adorable. But look at them! Look at you with your faces! Look at you with your faces! Look at that! Oh! Oh my! You are a retowned one, aren't you? Welcome to you, Mario! I am the village leader of Yoshi's village! Oh, you come seeking help! You wish to go to Mount Level 11, do you? The answer to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. The volcano is awakened as well, I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. Well, too bad, I'm gonna go there anyway. Also, why is there a statue dedicated to Raphael the Raven? Last time I checked, you guys were having a bit of trouble with uh, the bastard. In fact, so much trouble that uh, he was kind of a boss in one of the places in the second game. Must feel weird coming back to this island, almost like a family reunion in a way. Why am I staring at the statue instead of, you know, yeah. <laughs> There's a star piece here. A previous recording has demonstrated the fact. Yes, indeed. Alright, so, yeah, Yoshi's Village. Pretty peaceful place with some nice music. Dun -dun -dun. Look at the Yoshi kids, they're cute and adorable. Hello? Oh, it's Mario. You want an adventure or something, right? Wow, cool. Who is that with you? Is that your partner? Man, I wish I could be. That'd be a dream come true. Wait until the sequel. 
The grown-ups won't let us out of the village because they say it's too dangerous. That meddling old cheap cheap is always watching us, and she won't let us into the jungle. Phew, <laughs> we'll see about that. Us guys, the fearsome five, we ain't afraid of nothing. I don't know why I just went s slangy there, regardless. Yeah, cheap cheap. Hello? You look rather... old lady. I don't know, that's just me. Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I'd love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. I'd watch at these boys who are very, very naughty so they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it, huh? But I bet they're planning something. Well, if they think they can fall associate, they better think again. Yeah, I don't know why I'm giving her the Cam Cooper voice. It's just, well... Every time I play this game, I always think Sushi's an old lady. I don't know, it's just me. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, boy. Birds. Birds. Let's hope they don't speak. Ah! Well, he didn't. Ah! Well, alright. Ah! Aren't you the mouth you just lost the river at the river and was tired of the mouth? Okay, well that one spoke, that's weird. Well this one speaks perfect English. Oracle of the stars! Mario comes to this island! Mario's fated to meet Master Wiffer out of Raven! Gah! That's pretty great. And your voice is ear damaging at most. Though I'm the one making it, so I don't even know why I'm making that excuse up. Anyway, I would say next time, but uh... Well, there's something gonna be happening in a bit, and I figured might as well get it out of the way, right? Uh, but first, let's take a nap. This nice wooden bed. Anyway, yay, got some rest. That's all in good. Actually, another thing we should probably do is go into the item shop and drop drop off some coconuts. So to save you some time, I'm just gonna do that really quick. Actually, no, I'm not. Because yeah, there are some other items we need to get here too. I know I I know how to buy things. I know I want to check things in. Uh, the coconuts and the stopwatch actually. Yeah, the coconuts and the stopwatch. Yeah, coconuts are an ingredient for things. Uh, oh, and the DC dial, too, that's right. Uh, yep, that's it. We're good. Uh, so we're going to get a super shroom, a couple of honey syrups, and the thunder, uh, fire flower. No, thunder rage. Let's see. Yeah, thunder rage. Now, there are fire enemies in this chapter, but we will be buying a snowman doll later, or possibly finding one, I'm not sure which. So, that'll be a thing. But for now, let's continue going right, because, you know, side scrolling intuition tells me to do so. So, yeah, now we. Can really. Yeah! That's my best attempt at doing the Luigi scream from the Super Mario World cartoon. I hope you enjoyed it. And look, as you might have expected, Colorado is in trouble again. Not even ten minutes, and he already got himself in another situation. What a great adventurer he is. Stupid. Ow! Get your hold of yourself! Why do you say you attack the enemies instead of me, huh? Alright, fine, jeez. Bastard. Anyway, here we have Spear Guys. Once again, making a return from, uh, older games. More specifically, Yoshi's Island. Yeah, and uh, I was stupid and completely forgot that not only do Shy Guys make an appearance in Super Mario 64, but they do appear in Yoshi's Island. So yes, they have made mainstream appearances since um, Mario Brothers 2. So I'm a bit dumb. Anyway, Spear Guy. This is a Spear Guy. Spear Guys are relatives of Shy Guys. They live in the jungle. Back to speed 7 attack power 3, and defense power 0. You'll get hurt if you attack them with a hammer while they're pointing the spear at you. You'll also get hurt if you try to jump on them with the spears pointing upward. Pay attention to the position of their spears when we attack. Oh yeah, they also sometimes call them reinforcements. After they throw their spears, they become only shy guys. Just like that. Uh, I'm not sure if the fact that their spears are pointing upwards will determine if they will throw the spears. I don't think they- oops, I forgot the spike shield is de-equipped. Whoops! That's a thing I forgot to check. Again. I'm so great when it comes to these. Um, I do quick hammer. I do have the quick change bad out. Uh, bad out. No badge. I do have the quick change badge out, so I'll probably just switch to somebody who can hit him from 
side. No, wait. Wait. Nah, forget about it. Whatever. Boop. No, I probably should have gotten that bow. <laughs> yeah, that was my second uh, pick. Probably should have done that, actually. Now we can jump on him because he's pointing his spear outwards instead of upwards. Yay, for determining how to defeat the foe! Alright, so we got you out of yet another pickle, Colorado. Seriously, enough of this. Phew! You saved me once more! You are top touch, Mario! Now, I feel that our destination, the volcano, was quite near! Let's press on while our spirits are high, eh? I suppose so, also. Nope, nothing in there. But... Jam and jelly right behind this tree. Stores 50 HP. We're gonna store this sucker and keep him reserved. For later, we will be making the Ultra Jelly, or, uh, Jam and Shroom. I, I don't remember the exact word, but it's basically an Ultra Shroom plus Jam and Jelly, which is basically a full store in this game. Essentially. Anyway, oh, well, yeah, the volcano is, like, right here. But, uh, you might have noticed the problem. We can't get over there. At all. Ah, Mario! Have you look at this? I have looked at this, and yeah. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, old boy? Somewhere in that volcano are the treasures I'm looking for. I know it! The secrets of an ancient civilization! And yet, I can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, I want. Hmm. But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now! Alright then, back to the village we go. I sure hope that nothing bad has happened. Stop! Stop it! Oh, for fuck's sake, not... You asshole! No! Just, no! Ho ho ho! Did you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? At any rate, let's move on, hmm? Fuck you. Just, no, just, just, just fuck you, Colorado. Just, no. This music sounds rather frantic. Strangely frantic. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna ignore it. We're gonna find out why it's so frantic next time Let's Play Paper Mario. Yes, I am cliffhanging here because I'm a douche. Because I'm a jerk. So until then, see you later and goodbye.